Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. My name is Luke Pelletier, and today we're covering 2008's comedy, Meet the Spartans, the 300 parody that we were all waiting for. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the commentary. And as a disclaimer, this video contains my own personal analysis and comments. It's not a substitute to watching the film itself. Links to purchase the film are in the description below. With that said, let's get to it. The movie starts with an elderly man carrying a baby wrapped in clothes, about to inspect it for defects. When the man takes the clothes off the baby, and believe me, I was shocked too, it's a Shrek-like ogre baby laying in his arms, asking the man if he's his mommy because he's ready to be fed, and then he barfs right in the man's face. If you are looking forward to having children, this might set the tone. This definitely sets the mood for this movie, so strap in, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Whenever a baby wasn't up to standards, they were, let's say, taken care of. And of course, if the baby was Vietnamese, Brangelina had first dibs. Then we meet baby Leonidas, of course already equipped with a full-grown beard and a six-pack. From an early age, Leonidas was trained to fight and to endure torture, which included dog food, a dog, and a certain kind of nuts. I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. One day, when Leonidas is sent into the wild to get stronger, he's attacked by a giant penguin, beating him in every way possible, until he accidentally gets stuck, and Leonidas finds the perfect weapon to kill him. As Leonidas returns to his village, Sparta, everyone praises him for slaying the beast, and he gets a special kind of attention from Margo, another girl from Sparta. He asks her to marry him, and she tells him the combination of her chastity belt. They copulate and have a son, who he beats to oblivion using paintballs, a chainsaw, and other patented WWE takedowns, all in order to raise him to become a stronger man. A messenger comes to Sparta to tell Leonidas that the Persian army is taking over the world, and that their next stop is right here. So, Leonidas asks him to come over to the giant pit of death, where the messenger and now Queen Margo start making out. So Leonidas kicks him into the pit, and then his servant, and then another servant, and then a woman not wearing any underwear shaving her head while breastfeeding her baby. Oops, he kicked her to death. Sorry, Brittany. And then her boyfriend, and then the list goes on and on. You get the idea. Leonidas likes to kick people into the giant pit of death in their backyard. Leonidas then gets judged by American Idol judges where he gets mixed reviews and then, wait for it, pushes the judges into the pit. Leonidas then goes to the ancient prophets who he gives lotion to <laughs> because they're looking a little ashy. He tells them about how he's planning to go to war with the Persian army, taking 300 men, and he very visually explains how he wants to take them from the back and the front using his own specific formations. But they tell him that if he goes to Persia, he'll surely die. Leonidas sits next to his wife sleeping when he discovers the long list of people she's done the deed with tattooed on her back, including Shaq, Dr. Phil, and even Borat. I guess she's had a checkered and exotic past? He tells her how he's worried about the attack because of the prophets, but she reminds him there's only one person he needs to listen to, Oprah. Then, because this could be their last night together, they do it one more time. And with it, I obviously mean Leonidas using Margot as a human workout rod. Afterwards, Leonidas meets his army, which consists of a little less than 300 men. But that's only because they didn't all fit the requirements of having a hot bod. Then the son of Leonidas' best friend, Sonio, comes over carrying a huge package, which he delivers to his father, and Leonidas thinks he should join the army too, with which Sparta's next top model judges agree, and so he joins. Leonidas says his proper goodbyes to his family, and he and his army leave, holding hands and singing, I will survive. When they get to the hot gates, the army take a well-deserved Gatorade and Krispy Kreme break, which is when Paris Hilton shows up asking to join the army, but Leonidas refuses. Afterwards, an army of Persians show up. The two armies face off toe-to-toe. -to -toe. 
No, I mean in a dance battle, literally toe to toe. This absolutely epic rap battle lasts for multiple rounds, which ends when Leonidas literally breaks his neck break dancing, and the dancing with the Spartans jury gives them a perfect score, so they dance the Persians off of a cliff. Alright, if you've made it this far, you're kicking back and enjoying the video. Now would be a great time to subscribe to Flix Recap. Subscribing is absolutely free, and it helps me bring you even more dope content. Okay, plug over. Back to the recap. We cut to Queen Margot, who's getting a not at all violent massage, being told that if Leonidas doesn't return, she will be dethroned. We return to the battlefield where Xerxes, the god king of Persia, arrives, proposing a deal to Leo. If he surrenders and bows down to Xerxes, he'll get a trip to Las Vegas for two, and his army will stand down. Everyone tells Leonidas to take the deal, but he doesn't, so Xerxes unleashes hell or at least hell's worth of yo mama jokes because the two armies are now rap battling again and it's getting vicious to say the least. With jokes like yo mama so hairy she only speaks wookie and yo mama so ghetto when she breastfeeds Kool-Aid comes out, Leonidas' army wins again and the Persians retreat. We cut back to Queen Margot, who tells one of Spartan's advisors that they need to send more soldiers to battle and that she's willing to do anything for it. So she drops her robes, ready to start the action. But she never gets around to it because, uh, let's say the advisors had already sent his soldiers. We then get to a Persian adult party where Paris Hilton tells Xerxes about a passage through which they can get to the Spartans unseen. Leonidas finds out about the Persians finding a secret passage, so he sends one of his men back to Sparta to tell their tale. And then Xerxes arrives with his army. Queen Margot tries to sway the Council of Sparta to send more men to the battlefield, but then the advisor from earlier tells everybody they should surrender, and it turns out he's been working for the Persians all along. Queen Margot literally unleashes a venomous rage and fights the advisor who reveals that he's made of sand. So naturally, Queen Margot uses a handheld vacuum cleaner to kill him. After the Council realized that the advisor was a traitor, they agree to send more men. We cut back to the battlefield where the Spartans actually physically fight off all of the Persians and Ghost Rider, twisting their nipples, giving them wedgies, and using a fire extinguisher. Then Rocky shows up and he decapitates Sonya with one hook to the head. So his father takes revenge and kills Rocky by giving him a Botox overdose. He then takes Rocky's belt and while holding it up, gets pierced by a spear thrown by Xerxes and dies. Leonidas gets mad. Everything starts to become a little too close to a GTA spinoff and he goes on a furious rampage. Xerxes runs away but trips over a transformer cube, so he uses it to become a transformer. But he pulls out his own plug, killing him, but also presumably the Spartans as he falls right on top of them. The Spartan messenger from the army gets back to Sparta and tells Queen Margo and everyone else the bad news. One year later, he leads the new Spartan army to fight against the Persians, but he's blind and instead leads them to Malibu, where Lindsay Lohan is leaving rehab again. We cut to the credits with everyone performing I Will Survive at American Idol, where even Simon seems to be mildly enjoying it. The fact of the matter is, the slapstick is great, but a lot of the jokes are topical and a little bit dated since they're from the early 2000s. Still, I had a fun time re-watching this movie and dropping my own little comments here. So what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next recap. Until next time.